All right, and the next technique in standing form of sankata, we have a form of kaitanagi that develops from, again, a grappling condition. In this case, the uke is coming in, he's getting a hold of our wrist, and we want to make an immediate attack to the center line. We want to make an immediate uh, control of this center line condition so that while he's up and back, we can slip straight under this arm, drop it down to the outside immediately, and prepare to throw him over the little toe of his outside foot. So this is a, a fairly tight turning action that sets us up into a nice position. So let's watch it again. Here, up, down and through. Prepare to step with the outside foot. All right, maybe this line. Here, up, and this falls immediately down by our hip as we turn. We make control behind the head and at the wrist, stepping in line with his body. Now that wrist control is a, a, a little tricky for people sometimes. The rising action, we keep the thumb and the uh, forefinger open and the wrist back, and as this falls, you'll see that it can fall directly into the wrist lock. You don't try to, from the gripping, you don't try to twist your hand over and try to make that grasp go at all. You let it be a natural product with a falling action and the natural catch just comes right into your into your grasp. We couple that here and here. Good. Excellent. Tight noggin.